Hello, this is Child, and this video is going to be on environment variables and setting them in Mac OS. So uh, when you're programming or doing lots of things in Mac, uh, sometimes you're going to have to set environment variables and um, for certain applications to work, and it can be a little bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the setting of, in of environment variables and show you how all that works. So the first thing is, is if you're at your terminal and um, you do a ls-al, um, you're going to see probably a bash profile. And what this does, the bash profile is a file that um, runs every time you open up a terminal, a terminal window. Um, so if you want to um, create some sort of, some sort of uh, environment variable, you have to edit this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use uh, the VI editor. You can use whatever editor you want. I'm just going to use VI just because it's fast and, and easy. So I'm going to edit the bash profile. And then in here, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, before I do this, actually, um, I'm going to show you how you can show or display all your environment variables. Um, there's an export command. And if you type in export, um, basically, it shows here the the key, the key name, and and then then this is the value. So, for example, I have a child variable um, set to one. CLI color is equal to one. Uh, command mode is Unix 2003. Uh, gem path and gem home, whatever. So these are all uh, keys, and these are all the values. Um, there's another way of doing it, and it's. Um, if you type in echo um, and then dollar sign like child, that's a, that's a, a variable I have, or uh, gem home. So these are all environment variables. Um, so if I have something that doesn't exist, like gem home 3, that doesn't exist, um, it'll be blank. So what we can do is we can create other environment, other environment variables, or we can edit existing ones. So I'm going to go back. to here and I'm going to create an environment variable so I'm going to say export um, new env I'm just going to call it new env for a new environment variable is equal to um, 9 let's say then I'm going to save that now in order for this environment variable so if I that was called new env if I say echo new env it doesn't show up the reason it doesn't show up is you have to reload your your uh, terminal window so i'm going to exit out of this whoops and then uh, i'm going to start it back up again and now i'm going to do echo dollar new env and there there is my environment variable also if you, if you type in export again you should see new ENV right here as well too. <clears throat> so that's great and everything. Uh, but what if you want the environment variable to be used inside of a GUI application like say Xcode or any other app, um, any other type of GUI app that doesn't run from the, from the terminal? Well, if you're using Mac OS version 10.8 or lower than 10.8, uh, which is Mountain Lion, um, so anything anything older than mountain lion you can use this variable um, or, or this file it's right here under the dot mac os directory so you say cd dot mac os and then there's this file in here called environment plist and you have to you can't edit this directly in a text editor you have to edit it in xcode so if you say open environment plist <coughs> sorry um, this little uh, editor window comes up right here and it's just it gives you uh, this thing is a dictionary which is just a bunch of key value pairs um, here's the path an example here this is my env environment variable and then the string here is the its value so I was trying to set my path equal to um, equal to this uh, so if you want to set your path or any other type of, of uh, uh, env environment variable that's, that you want to be global, i.e., shared by both ter terminal apps or um, 
or GUI applications, then you should use environment plist. Now, this does only work for um, um, for apps in uh, older than a mountain lion. But so if you're in mountain lion or or newer, like Mavericks, um, this doesn't work, which is uh, which is a shame because uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, but there's a there's actually another way to do it. Um, if you're in mountain lion, so if you're in mountain lion, oh, one other thing I want to uh, point up, point out is that if you do in uh, edit this environment up plist, you have to reboot your computer in order for the changes to take effect. So once again, if you're using a Mac uh, version older than mountain lion and you do edit this file um, using Xcode, you have to reboot your computer in order for those changes to take effect. Now, if you are using mountain lion, you can um, do um, sudo. I mean um, go into root mode or 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 uh, execute this as a super user and we'll say vi which is just my text editor um, slash et etsy slash uh, launch launch d so what this is here so this is uh, I'm in I'm gonna be editing this file now if this file doesn't exist you can just create it um, and uh, vi of course is my text editor and I'm doing it using a super user or root um, uh, capability. So this this password is a password for my computer. So this is the launch d um, f uh, dot cont file. So how it works is you type in set env space the name of your of your variable like here is path and then after it the value of that variable. So this is the value of my path. Here I also set another environment variable called child and I just set it to one. Um, so this is how you would set your global environment variables um, for um, uh, if you're using mountain lion. Uh, yeah, if you're using mountain lion. And so <clears throat> that's all you do. You just set env, the key, and then the value. Set env, key, value, as, as many as you want. Um, once you finish with that, you have to um, reboot your computer to just as if you um, in, uh, edited the environment.plist because both of those files are actually read on um, startup. Okay, and then one other thing is if you want to know, if you want to mess with the launch D settings in a, in a, using a program, there's, there's this program called launch CTL. And from here, you can type in export. Um, this basically shows you all of the settings that are global. These are all the um, these are all the the uh, environment variables that are global to your um, to your Mac. So if you want to know which ones are global or which ones are local, well, these are the global ones right here. Um, and you can do other things as well too. You can type in help. Um, you can do set set env. You can you can set your environment. You can get an environment variable. Um, export. That's what we just did. Um, anyway, so launch control this this command um, uses the, that launch d dot cont file, and it, like I said, it's global for your Mac, so you would want to use that if you're using uh, Mountain Lion. And um, one other thing I want to I want to point out is if you're for some reason your GUI application is not seeing your environment variables, you can always open up your GUI app from the uh, terminal. Uh, from the terminal by typing in open whatever like iTunes or, or or whatever and if the GUI application actually launches from this terminal then it actually will inherit the environment variable settings uh, from the terminal so that's kind of a uh, cheating way of getting that to work but I would go ahead and do the environment.plist file or the launchd.conf instead it makes it a lot easier alright thanks